Hi, I'm Father Mark Wilkie coming to you from in front of our school building here. And as you'll be viewing this on Saturday, July 22nd, I'm actually recording a little bit in advance. I've been away for a few days this week of the 17th to uh, go to a, a, a classical education conference in Pittsburgh. So looking forward to that as I record this, but that'll be completed by the time you see this. And we continue to strengthen our school to improve our education and, of course, to, to really continue our dedication to our Catholic identity as we move forward together as our parish school. But on those notes, as we look ahead a little bit, I just wanted to take a moment to highlight a few great things. First and foremost, uh, a word of thanks for all the good work that's been done in the school during the month of July and will continue to go on for a few days, no doubt. But paint and mulching and all kinds of great things to clean up and beautify our school. Thank you so much to all our volunteers, the parents, the Knights of Columbus, members of the parish who stepped up and received that call for volunteers so generously. So thank you so much. We really, it takes all of us to keep this campus so beautiful and running so well as we prepare uh, for what becomes our busy season during the school year. And so, of course, as we look ahead into the month of August, we have the Holy Day, the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary on August 15th. For us here in this building, our school year starts on August 23rd. Obviously, schools are all starting in about that week or so, variously throughout the area, but that's when we get started and Religious Ed will be following shortly after and a lot of our great programs to go with that. We have our parish golf outing on Friday, September the 8th this year. So please mark your calendars for that. And I'm sure you'll be seeing some things in the bulletin about registration and our parish picnic. So we're bringing that parish picnic back. It was a great success last year. Looking forward to that on Sunday, September the 17th. Our 40 hours devotions, those Eucharistic devotions for three days will be in mid-October. And as we look ahead, the schedule is full, full of life, full of goodness, full of faith and community. And I am so grateful to be here with you. And as we prepare in these summer days to be ready for all the activity, thanks so much for your generosity and your continued faithfulness throughout these days of summer. We continue, of course, uh, to close out the uh, interior portion. There's an exterior portion yet to come, but in the interior portion, of the Brighton Our Foundation campaign. And as I'm recording this, and I'm sure it'll be a little further along, we're more than halfway to that $75,000 in cash benchmark I mentioned about a month ago to be able to completely pay off the interior renovation in cash and then allow us with pledges and continued donations to reset our focus on some of the exterior work, the parking lots, and some exterior work that is needed as we press ahead. So full of gratitude as I thank you for that. We anticipate that this week of July 24th uh, that we will have daily mass those five days in the historic church. And the reason for that is uh, some of the punch list items, uh, we sort of working with Conewago to bring their subcontractors in all at once. So those punch list items, it's easiest if they have full uh, unfettered access during the week to get those subcontractors in, clean everything up and really bring the actual work on the punch list to a quick and full conclusion. So Monday through Friday, the week of the 24th, we'll be down in the historic church for those 9 a.m. masses so that everyone is safe and that work can continue quickly and safely. So there'll be notes in the bulletin and a few slides coming on that, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention as well. I am so full of gratitude for all the goodness going on here, for all of your support and your goodness of our facilities, as well as our many programs that are ramping up for the fall and activities. Looking forward to seeing you uh, at Sunday Masses, 5 p.m. on Saturday, 7.30, 9 and 11 a.m. on Sunday morning. Thanks and God bless.